this video is to show you some of the things that you can do when you don't have much room to model. This is my work area. It's stuck in a corner. I used a piece of plywood put on top of another table as a temporary workbench. I take it down every night and put my computer there. You see a DIY exhaust system. Another video shows you how to do that. Information about that is below. This is a very simple setup, but I do a lot. Let's look at a few of the many things that I'm working on. Here's a quick summary to catch your interest, I hope. That's a brick water tower. I'm really into water towers in this video. I've got a lot more other than water towers. This is a boiler and pressure tank to support an operating steam engine that will go into two different water towers. This is a wood tower that I patterned after a sketch in Bogdan Pokorpinski's book, Kole Yabonovska. I made this out of wood from a strawberry basket. I sanded it thin, veneer thick, and then made individual strips and made panels. Also, the roof is wood shingles, I have a video on how to make those shingles below, and those are also made from strawberry crates. You can see this is still work in progress. I've got a lot more to do, but it's a fun project. Look at the full details down below, and I may make another video on that also. Making shingles takes a lot of time, but I really like the effect. I have to put the caps on, and again, that'll be in the video below. But if you really want a project, you're going to take time, but it really comes out looking nice, try this one. Plans also are available, link below. The strawberry crates were stained, and that gave the wood some nice color. Uh, we talked to Bogdan Pokorpinski. He said these things were either green or brown. Whatever was available, people painted them in whatever paint there was. They didn't have much money, and generally it faded. The windows are thin acrylic with strips of veneer added for panes and mullions. And another water tower out of one of Bogdan Polkopinski's books. There's a lot of work to do here. I have to add the boiler windows and everything else, but this is a lot of fun. Now, I have also three other water towers on the workbench, some which I visited and measured myself and some uh, that I'm working plans from, uh, particularly the uh, water tower at uh, Machki. And what you're going to see now is the boiler that goes in that water tower at Machki. This comes out of the plan book for the Machki water tower. A link for that book is down below. Uh, it's made out of brass. Uh, 0 0.1 millimeter, 0 0.2 millimeter brass. Uh, it, it's, it's really uh, scratch built. Uh, it's not cleaned up yet. I've made the joints. I've got a lot of uh, cleaning up of, of the extra solder to do. Uh, what I'm going to do is add some LEDs in there to uh, make a fire. And uh, I'm going to uh, make an animated uh, fireman uh, shoveling coal, he'll be outside the uh, tower. You again, if you go to that link uh, for the animated uh, steam engine, you can see uh, animated firemen. But that's the pressure tank. I'm right now working on the uh, water pump. I'll have an update on that as I go forward. But I've got about four of these to make because I've got at least four towers, probably five, and as I keep going, I just like water towers, maybe six, uh, and, and as I work, I get better. I hope this has stimulated your thought processes a little bit. Uh, it's a lot of fun. This is detailed modeling. It uh, takes a lot of time, but I'd rather do this, take the time here, rather than buying something plastic and shoving in the layout. Each of these water towers may be put into a layout, but then some of them I may even make standalone dioramas. 
very small, but something to look at. I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe. Have a good day. Have a good life.